way to add curb appeal to your house is obviously to change your color palette. But where do you start without doing a major exterior renovation? It's a lot of space. So Sharon is back with the basics of putting together a color palette based on what you can and cannot paint. There's a smart way to start. Sharon, what do we do first in this okay. situation? Well, you know what? You it is hard to get inspiration and it is hard to find a starting point and some people have really significant architectural styles and and that kind of leads you can go online you can look around neighborhoods and you get an idea yes. but at the end of the day the best thing is to start with what you have so what right. are those fixed elements that you have and then you want to really think of those things as having a color and that will guide you mm-hmm okay so let's talk about what you mean by fixed elements okay. so Basically anything that you can't paint or that yep. you don't want to paint, okay? Yep. So in this case, you know, your, your asphalt shingles, your roofing, whatever your roof tiles are. Yeah. You might have some really beautiful natural stone. Mm -hmm. um, brick. Obviously you can paint brick, but a lot of people don't want to paint brick. So you've right. got your brick. You might have some natural wood that you want to keep as natural wood. A lot of people have copper and bronze finishes on their home which you know they don't want to paint yes i love that Isn't gorgeous finish. yeah and i would keep that as is so let's talk about the surfaces that you can paint what okay. are we talking about when it comes to what you can paint well this is where it's funny because you hire your painter and he starts asking you all these questions that you never thought about this was us i was like <laughs> i don't know man i don't know you're asking me a lot like trim inside the windows outside the right? windows all those spaces that you don't really think of the porch floor yes the stairs do you have a porch ceiling yes. do you want to paint your door do you have shutters do you, yes. Like the trim around all of that. There, like some people have gingerbread, decorative features. Like yeah. there, there's so many rails. Like you can go on and on and on. So basically when you think about that, we've got at least 10 things that we just came up with. So if all of those things have a different color, it's going to be very overwhelming. It'll be so, a clown house. Exactly. So <laughs> Exactly. And we, we don't want. want that. We want to rein it all in. So yes. that's where you want to be kind of inspired and start with your fixed elements and then lead. So I tend to recommend to people if they ask, three mm -hmm. to five colors. It's kind of a yeah. good feel for the front of any house. And I think that you really want to, um, you want to build with what you have. So you can see that I have my fixed elements here and yep. I've got a very different look with the red brick and I've got a very different look with the white brick. So mm -hmm. we want to kind of start from there and let's sort of see how we can build a color palette around these items okay okay so we know the red brick it's it like it's there it's screaming um, yes. we want to work around what this is and what this is right you want something that's gonna work with it that makes the brick look its best so yeah. it's just like when we're picking an outfit you want to kind totally. of highlight the best features so in this case we've got sort of an overall darker we've got the darker gray stone we've got a darker roof and again we've got the brick so I think you want to sort of think about balance and you don't really want to throw anything in that's too light because you kind of want to yeah. work with that so let's think about this with red brick a lot of people like to to put the black windows yes. in that's sort of classic it's and beautiful. that's sort of a, a trend now again so you've put your black in that kind of ties in with your roof this is great but if you're painting the windows you might consider going a little bit softer to something that kind of again it kind of pulls mm -hmm. out from there so it's a little bit softer then the black, and this is Iron Mountain, which is a, um, a, a sort of off black that I really yeah. like. So you can paint with that. Trim, anything wood, maybe the trim windows. Again, pulling from here. There's lots of options. So you could go dark yep. with, with something like Chelsea Gray, and that mm -hmm. might look nice around the trim or for the railing, that sort of thing. Or you could go lighter to something like Rockport Gray. Nice. Um, and even greener. Like, look, if you think about yes. it, there's actually sort of a green tone in there. So that's Copley Gray. So you can start pulling colors together even though you don't know exactly where they're going to go yet. Yes, I like that. So all of them are sort of speaking to the fact that this is more of a darker palette. If you exactly. went with something really, really light, it'd be too much contrast. Exactly. It's going to yeah. jump out. So again, the door, we can kind of have fun with, Yes, right? we can. So let's have fun. So red kind of ties in with the brick, but it's bolder. Yep. This is Moroccan Spice, which I really love for Beautiful. exterior doors. And then if you want to do something that contrasts more, but still pulls from here. This is Knoxville Gray, so it's a blue, green, gray, and again, it'll be a little bit more contrasty, but yes, you do what you want. Very <laughs> nice. Now let's go to a lighter palette. Let's go to the lighter palette. So again, this could be siding, this could be stucco, this could be anything. It doesn't have to just be brick, but let's pretend. And I've got this really pretty stone 
stone here. So you could do anything, but let's pull from the stone. Okay. So this is where your white windows aren't going to look so bad. They're going to tie right. in, right? So that's fine. But I might want to bring something like metropolitan gray that kind of mm. pulls that a little bit cooler tone from the stone onto the window trim, the railing, all that sort of thing. And then for the door, I'm in love with Venetian portico right now. So I'm going to pull that pinky tone out yes. from there, and I've got my front door. But what about this? This doesn't match. What That's do you think? That's my favorite, though. What yes. blue is that? This is smoke. Oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? It's smoke. So even though that's not in there, you can see it's how works. the door color, it still works. And you've got your white, so you've kind of got this really beautiful, lighter palette with, that you've pulled out from the natural yes. elements. I suggest taking these little color swatches for all of your fixed elements and all of the non-fixed elements, yes. putting them all together so you can figure it out because we don't all have these brick samples exactly. in them, right? <laughs> Put them all together. Anything else we need to keep in mind? Well, overall, Tracy, the darkness and lightness is something that we can't always visualize if you want to change it drastically. Yeah. If you want to change from light trim to dark trim. So again, mm -hmm. we talked about digital visualizers earlier. Yeah. Great opportunity to try Try it out so you can get a feel. So I wanted to change dark, go to dark classic trim, or I want to mm. change the entire house to something lighter and brighter. So you can get a quick idea yes. of what that's going to look like. But on that note, I would never pick my color from what I see digitally. Right. It's going to look completely different. Right. So make sure you don't just use a small chip like this. Get a sample of the colors you're thinking of. Paint it on a big board. Look at it in the natural light to see what it's going to look like at all times of the day. Because right. the sun is going to really change it. It'll change it all day long. Great lesson as always, Sharon. Love that.